Welcome to Pittsville, the geographical center of Wisconsin and the heart of cranberry country. I'm here today to go on a splash of red cranberry tour, led by students who are a part of the only cranberry science class in the country. Let's go check it out. Cranberry Science is the course that the students can enroll in when they're juniors or seniors at Pittsville School District. Part of the Cranberry Science course is that they um, do what we call the Splash of Red Cranberry Tours. So two to three days a week our students are going out and actually giving the tours. We go to uh, an actual marsh where our tour guests are able to see the harvesting process. Um, we go to a receiving station where they're able to see the berries dumped and then the binning, freezing, and lab process of the berries as well. And then and we bring the tour guests back to the school district. We feed a light lunch that is actually prepared by a local grocery store in town here. So it's again that community collaborative effort which I think makes the program really unique. There are students in Cranberry Science that uh, also take uh, local foods which is where people donate foods from the area. The big one is squash and cranberries. They actually made the, uh, the topping that went on the ice cream. Most of the kids um, work in the cranberry industry while they're in high school and I think that's an important concept to point out is that they do have opportunities to be employed. I already have a little bit of background knowledge um, with my, uh, my grandpa and dad. My grandpa still runs a marsh. Me and my family have lived on a cranberry marsh my entire life so it just made a lot of sense to take this class and maybe further my knowledge and share it with other people. My dad and my uncle own a Badger State Fruit Processing. Remember when I was younger, just being on the cranberry bed, just go and help with my dad's business or go help my uncle. I just love being out there and I just like telling the background of uh, my family. This is right up there with dairy being uh, such a, uh, an important industry and the largest industry for uh, central Wisconsin. Wisconsin produces three-fifths of the entire nation's cranberries and Wood County has the largest acreage in the state. So it's really important to our local community and the state. To get the kids to understand that how big of an impact that this one particular commodity has, not only on our county but our entire nation and the world, is pretty eye-opening to them. There's people that come from across the world actually. We have a couple people from Australia I think scheduled. We have a lot of people from uh, southern states, Tennessee, big one, Arizona. I tell the kids this is a very intense class and you're going to be having to public speak at a level that you probably haven't public spoke at at all up until this point in your life. So again, I, I try to make sure that they're comfortable at that. I've really grown to love talking to people and meeting people from different parts of the country and even other countries and I just think it's a great experience to like, learn a little bit more about the world. My favorite part would be the actual growth of the students. They get so used to always being with their peers during the school day and that whole interaction with adults and, and prepping them for this real world that they're going to enter into in the next nine months of their life um, is really a growth that I, I enjoy seeing in each one of them. I think cranberries taste pretty awful. Okay. <laughs> I, I try them at least once a tour and every time I try them it's just still bad. I've grown cranberries my whole life and I do not like them unless they're in something baked or a juice or maybe a craisin. I eat a lot of cranberries. When I go trucking with my brothers or my dad, uh, normally when we pick up a trailer I always climb in the back and I'll get a handful of cranberries fresh off the vine. Yeah. That's probably my favorite. I think we just need to continue that big agro-tourism and advocacy of agricultural products and really support local. You always want to give back to the community that, that helped raise and mold to who you are and I think the students in this course have that opportunity. In the future I plan on going to be a diesel technician and then pursuing my career in heavy equipment operating. I just hope people come out and enjoy the tours and like what we're doing. Well, the most important part of the class, I think, is knowing where you're from and what your community is all about and just getting out there and being a part of your community. And a quick plug, yeah. drink cranberry juice. <laughs> That's all I got. How cool is it to see a school incorporating such a defining part of its community into the curriculum? I hope you enjoyed your tour of the Pittsville Cranberry Bogs and that you learned something new. I know I did. Thanks for joining me on the road.